Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about SQL Alchemy Core interactions with Postgres. So first things first, make sure you go ahead and install pipinv install SQL Alchemy within this virtual environment because this is a different one. I've already done that, so within the pip file SQL Alchemy is installed. Uh, in here, uh, we are going to grab from the SQL Alchemy. So I'm going to say SQL Alchemy uh, import. So the important part is create engine. So I'm going to say create engine. Perfect. And we are going to say SQL Alchemy import. Uh, let's import the table to create tables, column to create columns, string, and also metadata. There we go. So it is uppercase. Now I'm going to create our engine. I'm going to say create engine. Um, let's pass in uh, Postgres in here. So in the when we interacted with SQL, with SQL Alchemy with uh, MySQL, we passed in SQL, but in here we are going to pass in Postgres. Now in some places you might see in some tutorials which are outdated, you might see that it says Postgres, but it is not going to work. This is one of the use. This is one of the cases in which um, um, older versions of Postgres are not going to work. That whenever you write Postgres, you 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 need to make sure that you add Postgres the SQL part. You need to add that. Otherwise, you're going to see errors. Uh, and the database is m underscore halali. And we are going to pass in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as password. And where is the at local host slash company company underscore sales? There we go. Now we are going to say with engine dot connect as connection. So we are connecting as connection. So this is our connection object. We are going to grab our metadata and we are going to pass in the engine there. So metadata, let's pass in the engine there. After that, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to grab our, uh, we are going to create our table. So sales underscore table. And we are going to say table. So what is the table name sale? Let's pass in the table name. It is going to require metadata as well, which we just created that metadata. I'm just going to pass in meta because that is the name of the variable. The auto load, auto load is going to be true and auto load underscore WITH is going to be equal to engine. Now let's um, create values for our, I'm, I'm not going to comment anything out. Let's insert a record. So I'm going to say insert, inserting, I'm going to say inserting record, records, inserting record. Yeah, insert, which one is better? I'm not sure. Insert record or inserting records or adding records. Just going to say adding records so what is the table it is the sale table and uh, let's let's grab that so sale underscore underscore table it is the sales why did I provide it an extra s we don't need that dot insert and we are going to say values now you can see that we have talked a lot about this that SQL Alchemy is going to abstract away the way that we work with SQL and it's going to convert it in like something that is more Pythonic in this way that we have methods instead of commands instead of SQL commands we have methods now in here I'm going to pass in the order num uh, let's say it is 11 12 13 5 uh, and I'm going to pass in the order type as well very repetitive I know uh, this is retail you can speed up the video and then I'm going to say customer name. Let's just pass in some name. So I'm going to say must not some name, my name. So Halali. there we go. Uh, after that, I'm going to pass in the product number. 
which is uh, what should it be? So I'm going to say Muslim Hilali MH111, something like that. And next up, uh, product name. So product, or it is prod, um, prod underscore name. I could do HTML dash CSS boot, boot camp. I do have a lot of boot camps. And how many quantity, quantity is going to be equal to, let's say, 15. And uh, what is the price for them? We could pass in the price. So I'm going to say the price is 129. And this count is going to be equal to 90% or 0.90%. And order total, how much, how many? Oh, that requires me actually doing some work. So I'm not actually in the mood to do some work. So I'm just going to say 10. So 15 quantity order total, I am going to pass in 150. Perfect. So we have our, we have inserted our record. The next step is let's execute this. So connection dot, why don't we get this? So it is the same one. I'm not sure why we don't get the IntelliSense. I'm going to say adding, adding record, finally. Now, I'm going to perform four of the major operations any database can do. CRUD, create, read, update, and delete. At the same time, and we are going to look at their results in one go. So first off, we are going to say reading. So the way that we can read it, I'm going to create a select statement. And I'm going to say sale table dot select. So it's Pythonic. And I'm going to set it to limit. Uh, let's say a limit to 10. So this is the select statement. This is going to return for us a result set. We are going to say connection dot execute. This connection, there we go. Connection dot execute the select statement. And eventually we are going to say for R in result set. I could say for result in result set. Uh, result and result set. What do I want to do? I just want to print reading and then I'm going to pass in that result that we have. So this is the reading part of it. I should not provide any space there. Uh, with this, we are able to read. Uh, now, what if you want to update? Now, you might you might be asking yourself, okay, we are just reading it. If I, uh, if we update it, we'll be able to read it. Now, the update statement comes after the reading. So, we print the read, and then we print the update that happened. That happened. So, I'm going to say updating. I'm going to say updating. Uh, what can we do here? So I'm going to say uh, that was select statement. I'm going to say update underscore statement, which is going to be equal to sale table dot. We have an update method dot where. Now, where the sale table, give me the sale table, buddy. It's not working. Dot, what do you have within the sale table? We have columns. Which column do we want to grab? We want to grab the order num column. And if it is equal to 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, uh, 3, 5, if it is equal to that, what do we want to update it to? So we are going to pass in the values that we want to update it to. Uh, we want to add the quantity. Quantity. Let's add it to 2. Uh, change it to 2. So we know quantity is 15. So it is just going to re be reduced to 2. And the order total subsequently will be um, 20. Is that right? Yeah. So the order uh, total is going to be 20 because the price is 10. 2 times 10, uh, we got 20. And then we are going to execute this. So I'm going to say connection dot execute. Let's pass in the update statement. So update statement. 
Now, how can we confirm that we have updated something? So I'm going to say confirming update. How can we confirm that? I'm just going to provide the logic below there. So the way that we can confirm that is to reselect what we have already selected. So I'm just going to copy this. We are going to change it in some way. So I'm going to first off, I'm going to say that this is the reselect. So I'm going to grab these statements and I'm just going to provide RE. So reselect, uh, select uh, sale table dot select. Now, in this case, we do not want to limit it. We just want to find out where the order ID, where the order number is actually equal to the order number that we have updated uh, whenever we grabbed it. So this conditional is going to be the same because we use this conditional to update the value and we can use it again with the select statement to just grab that same um, order. And in here, I'm just going to say updated, uh, updated set. So I'm going to say updated set. And here we have passed in there. And finally, I'm just going to say updated uh, set. And uh, we are going to say connection, updated set connection dot execute. We have executed that. We are going to say for result in updated set, we are just going to say updated. There we go. So we have read, we have updated, and we have also uh, correctly, we are going to take a look at that. We have actually said that we have confirmed our update. Now, finally, we are going to delete. So I'm going to say deleting, deleting. So it is going to be delete statement connection.execute. Uh, what do we want to delete? Let's just say delete the reselect statement. We want to delete that. And uh, okay, you know what? Not like this. So we want to uh, delete statement, not connection.execute. I'm sorry. We are going to grab our table, not connection at all. So we are going to say sale table dot delete. So as with reading and updating, we do have a delete method. And now, which one do we want to delete? The one that has this order num. So it's cell table dot c dot order num equals to that. We want to delete it. After we are done deleting it, we are going to grab the connection and execute that delete. So let's pass in the delete uh, underscore statement. And we can also confirming, we can also confirm the delete. So confirming uh delete i forgot a uppercase this u i'm just gonna do it <laughs> and in here i'm gonna I'm just gonna say not found not found set let's just say connection dot execute i hope you're not bored reselect statement and then we are going to print and we're going to say deleted. This is this is done. Don't worry. We're going to say not found set dot row count. There we go. So with this, our lecture comes to an end. We are going to, of course, execute it to make sure there are no errors. So let me run this and okay. So let me grab this file as well. Let's say rename. Just copy that, and I'm just gonna. Bring this a little bit up. Let's just delete everything from here. Python, pass that in, dot py. So there we go. So what we got here was we said that we are reading because the reading was 10 rows. There we go. That's why it says reading 10 times because we read from it for 10 times. So 10 first items. And then we updated the one which we inserted because that there is a chance that that is not the first one, right? We inserted that using this logic. We inserted that record using that logic. And then we said, we want to update that as well. But why is it not showing? <clears throat> why is it not showing that? We didn't say show it to the console, did we? Okay, we just said that we want to grab the first 10 records. 
from the result set and then update the one that has this order num to quantity 2 and order total so quantity is 2 order total is 20 and then go ahead and delete it so delete not not found set dot row count is 0 because this item doesn't actually exist we can confirm that as well inside this uh, terminal this command line as well I'm gonna say uh, select select this from sale table where where uh, the order num is equal to 11 12 13 5 and you can see it returns zero rows because even though we added it we updated it and then we deleted it that's why there is nothing inside the database it doesn't say like anything it just says zero rows like nothing no rows has been dedicated to this person to this guy so with this our lecture comes to an end see you in the next one